Now, in other news, Japan's new foreign minister has stated that the 2015 wartime sexual slavery agreement with South Korea should be steadily implemented. His remarks hint at zero change in Tokyo's stance and stands him in direct opposition to Seoul's decision to review the deal, which is widely disliked by the Korean people. Park Jong-hong has his report. Upon taking office as Japan's foreign minister, Taro Gono said the so-called comfort women deal with South Korea should be implemented as is. His remark implies that the Japanese government will not comply with requests for a renegotiation of the deal. The issue remains a key point of contention between the two countries. The Moon Jae-in administration wants to review the 2015 agreement, saying the South Korean people cannot accept it, quote, emotionally, as it was sealed by the previous administration and without the consent of the victims. Japan's new top diplomat is the son of Yuhei Gono, the former chief cabinet secretary who released the landmark Kono Statement in 1993, which recognized the forced sexual slavery of women by the Japanese Imperial Army during World War II. That family connection had raised hopes in Seoul that he may push toward easing the conflict with South Korea. However, Japan's top diplomat did say that Tokyo needs to improve ties with South Korea, China and Japan, as well as its alliance with the United States. He also stressed the importance of cooperating with South Korea in various sectors, including security and economy. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.